All right, welcome. Today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your printer bot, um, specifically the play model, but this should work for the simple or the plus model, as long as the board is a F5 or F4 board. All right, so you're looking for the look underneath your printer bot and you should look at the model and it should say either a rev F5 or hopefully F4 or even F6. It may work for. So the things you're going to need, you are going to need an LCD screen and you can pick these up on Amazon or eBay. Make sure that it's a 1.4 2004 LCD model um, rip wrap. OK, model. And you like I said, you can also go find these at um, eBay. 1.4 2004 LCD display controllers here. And another thing you're going to need are these. Um, jumper cables okay so you're gonna need female to female jumper cables to do this all right so once again you can purchase those on Amazon or eBay as well or any electronics or hobby store for that matter all right so here you can see I got my LCD screen and my jumper wires here okay and then I got my printer bot over here my printer bot play and as long as you're simple or plus, I believe has a rev F5 or F4 or even F6, I'm not sure. As long as it's got that board, this uh, LCD screen should work for it, okay? And over here, this is the pin we're interested in, right here, okay? That is what we're gonna hook our LCD screen up to, right there where it says EXP2. All right, on your LCD screen on the back here, find these two ports, EXP1 and EXP2, all right? Each port has 10 pins here, and they are as follows. Pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And over here, it's the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 10, okay? And now, find your board here on your printer bot here. Now, it's important, like I said, Notice your board should hopefully be an F5 or an F4 or maybe even an F6. I don't know if F6s will work. Um, you may have to upload some firmware to your board or change the firmware if your board is not one of these. Okay. So, but if your board is an F5 or F4, uh, you shouldn't need to update your firmware. You should be good. And all you need to do here is follow along. So, on your EXP2 port here on your board, the schematics for your pins are as follows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So you have 14 pins here. Okay, so follow along because this is going to basically give you the blueprints for hooking up your uh, female to female uh, jumper wires. So for pin 1 here on your printer board, Okay, so pin one on your printer board right here. Okay, we're gonna hook it up to EXP1 pin nine. All right, so you're just gonna basically take your jumper wire and hook up from pin one to pin nine on EXP1. Now, when you're done with that, okay, you're gonna take pin two here on your printer board and hook that up to pin 10, okay? and so forth. And you're basically going to do all of these, okay, until you're done. And notice, some aren't connected. So some uh, pins will have no connections, all right? And notice, EXP2, pin, uh, let's see here, pin 3 and 5 are used, okay? So these two pins on EXP2, and that's it, and you're done. So I'm going to show you... Um, manually how I do this here in just a second. So if you find pin one on the printer board, it's right here. So you want to go to pin one, push your jumper cable in, and then on EXP1, we want to find pin nine. And remember there's 10 pins, so pin nine would be right there. I'll do one more here. So Uh, pin two on the board is right across from it. So we're gonna push it in here. And then we wanna go to pin 10 on 
our LCD screen here. And there's two. So just keep doing that and you should be good to go. A couple things to remember is that um, this SD card will not work. All right, so, but the screen should work great. All right, and one final note here. I designed a uh, Printerbot Play LCD screen mount that can be downloaded at Thingiverse at the following website here. Okay, so you can come here to download all files and print one up yourself, an LCD mount. And then a couple things to remember, you may need to update your firmware if your board is not an F4, F5, or F6. It doesn't mean you can't use the LCD screen. You just might need to take an extra step and download or upload the firmware there. And the SD card reader on the LCD screen will not work. Okay, not that it won't work. Um, I just, I don't know how to do it. And you may be able to get it working um, by searching other websites. And then finally, this procedure should work for the PrinterBot Play symbol and plus, not just the Play, so long as they have the printer board models previously mentioned here above, the F4, F5, and F6. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.